Here's an image of me on my iPad. I want you to first notice that I have organized all of my apps into folders. Otherwise, it would be too crazy and I couldn't find anything. The iPad app we're going to work with right now is Nearpod, and it falls in the presentation group that I created. I open presentation, and inside of it, I see Nearpod. I click on Nearpod, and what I'm going to do now is open the Great Barrier Reef presentation I am running on my other computer. The code I will enter here. It is ZRYKS. I will enter ZRYKS. Go OK. And I have now entered as a student. I cannot do anything to the screen at all until the instructor advances the presentation. The instructor advances the presentation and my iPad immediately updates. I'm going to sign in with uh, a username so the instructor can submit me. Uh, I could, as an instructor, require an ID. I'm just going to submit it. At this point, I've been identified by the instructor. It says, thank you. And we can now move on to the uh, next item. In the instructors window, which I'll uh, take a screenshot of later, it shows me that Rick has signed in. When I advance the presentation, then here is what I see on my iPad screen. In this lesson, students will, and here are the objectives. Now, all the student can do at this particular point is exit the presentation. He cannot do anything else. I advance the presentation after listing the objectives, and my screen changes as well. I keep on advancing, and it moves through slides. Right now, this is set in, as an informational presentation. It doesn't have any interactivity yet. We can add that later on. Now, have you ever been to the Great Barrier Reef? That's the question it asks. And I haven't, so I'm going to click No, and then Submit. When it's submitted, it says Thank You. And the answer will pop up on the instructor's screen so that the instructor can show this to the class. At this point, the instructor uh, anonymously posts who's doing what, it engages students, and we move on in the presentation. Environmental threats, etc. And what environmental threats are, uh, are there to the Great Barrier Reef? Now, a lot of times teachers will discover um, that uh, students have not paid attention. At this point, they'll go, what? Hey, can we review? And you might want to just review it. And so the screen will change back. And they'll look at climate change, pollution, crown of thorns, starfish, and fishing are the primary threats. At that point, they may be ready to take the quiz. And am I ready to take the quiz? Now, after my protestations, I say yes. I go and take the quiz. What are the environmental threats to the Great Barrier Reef? And in this particular case, I go, oh, I think it's pollution, climate change, overfishing, um, oil spills, or all of the above. You know what? That makes the most sense to me. When I'm ready, I then click Next. Tap Next to submit your final answers or tap Back to review your answers. A teacher can decide on how he or she wants to handle this part. It could be more discussion because this is a learning informative tool. It's not meant to be punitive. You may want to allow people to go back. So uh, this is under the student's control. I go, 
I wanted to just look at everything. Yep, you know, I'm right. I go next, and I'm going to submit my final answers. I get the thank you notification, and my score or answers are recorded on the teacher's console which is typically just a laptop or desktop of some kind. We go on and water quality is the next topic. Now rather than run through the entire presentation, I think uh, you've seen that the way Nearpod works is that the teacher controls the presentation and allows the students to engage interactively in testing their comprehension. So there is a check for understanding that the teacher can build in. In this case, I've downloaded this presentation for free from the Nearpod presentation store. Uh, it's a great, great tool. So if I were teaching environmental science or some unit that uh, were in earth science that would work for this, this would be a great tool. A lot of work has already been done. Uh, all the presentations notice are in landscape mode, just something to keep in your mind. And that is it.